And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his entrance to the ring, here comes the storm boy from Manchester, Thomas McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your penultimate contest. Six three-minute rounds of boxing in the light middleweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the white colored shorts. At the weigh-in, he scaled 11 stone, two and a half pounds. Tonight, he's taking part in his 16th professional contest, presenting from Birmingham, Max Maxwell. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the red and gold coloured shorts. At the weigh-in, he's scaled 11 stone, 5 pounds, 6 ounces. He has an excellent ring record consisting of 37 contests, 33 wins, only one defeat and three draws. He comes to the ring this evening as a former WBU world title challenger, presenting from Manchester, the Storm Boy. Thomas McDonough. Timekeeper at the bell, Gary Grennan. Referee in charge of the action, Steve Gray from Fleetwood. Six three minute rounds. Step back, okay? No punches on the back of the head. Touch close. Good luck, fellas. An ultimate contest of a great evening's boxing then. We're into the uh, light middleweight division. McDonough v Maxwell. Second down, round one. So, Thomas McDonough, the uh, taller man, the gold trunks with the red trim. His opponent, Max Maxwell, 29 years old from uh, Birmingham, although originally born in uh, Kingston, Jamaica. It's uh, the Storm Boy against Mad Max for those who like your nicknames. Again, great nicknames. Um, always difficult to follow the main event out after you know after after an exciting night, but. Um, I'm sure these boys will give us a good show. Both the top class fighters. Well, normally you might expect the atmosphere to really dip after uh, such a good main event, such a spectacular end, but fortunately, uh, Thomas McDonough's got a lot of fans in the crowd and they're making themselves heard. He certainly has, and I think because we've had a good night's work of boxing, you know, the crowd have stayed behind because the quality's been so good. 
this on paper again looks a fairly good matchup. McDonough has only uh, lost once in his professional career, but uh, Maxwell not too shabby either with nine wins and a draw in his 15 contests to date. McDonough's a real class stand-up fighter. I think a lot of people think, think he's, he's underachieved. But he's still only young. Oh, that's a great shot which really rocked Maxwell there. And McDonough senses he can finish this early and the referee stepped in, it's all over. Sensational end to the fight. Wow. Anything Alfonso Vieira can do, Thomas McDonough can do better. <laughs> He's obviously sent a message that's in light middle weights. That was an awesome performance. Great left hook. That was the shot that really hurt him. You can see him take a step backwards and from that moment on, McDonough knows the fight is his and he's in for the kill. He wasn't going to let him off the hook there, was he? And again, the referee's looking closely. Weight in the pants. Again, excellent stoppage from the referee. Well, only his uh, seventh stoppage of his career, but surely one of the fastest. That was a really impressive night's work from uh, the Mancunian. Six foot tall, and he packs a fair punch in that left hand. And Max Maxwell, well, simply found it too hot to handle. Nothing shabby about that performance. It was polished and it was uh, pretty hurried as far as McDonough was concerned. It certainly was. When he hit the left hook, he didn't panic. He, just, he jumped on him, but he jumped on him calmly and cleverly. Excellent performance. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 48 seconds of round number one, referee Steve Gray has stopped the contest in his opinion. Max Maxwell was in no position to continue. Your winner from Manchester, the Storm Boy, Thomas McDonough. He's already left the building, but your appreciation, please, for Max Maxwell. Uh, are you uh, going out tonight? You seem to be in a bit of a hurry there. Yeah, I've got a fight in five weeks, so I just want to get this one out of the way pretty quick. I mean. You literally, you, you saw your shot, you hit him, and from then on, you knew it, it was time to finish it. Yeah, well, I've been in, been in the back room there waiting, you know. Everyone's been coming in, winning the fights, so all like Reese and Scott. So I just couldn't wait to get out, and once I got out, that was it. That's what's going to happen all the time. People are going to get took out from now on, simple as Sometimes it's hard to be the fight on after the main event, but that was certainly not after the Lord Mayor's show, was it? No, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I would like to be on before Matthew, then I could come out and watch the fight, but, you know, things happen. I've been in the room. I've been here since 5 o'clock today, so I've been pretty frustrated, so just talk about my frustration out there, and you see what happened. A lot of fans come out to watch you tonight, they made a heck of a noise as you made your way into the ring, you've put on a good show for them. Yeah, I've got all my sisters and my, my wife and all them, but I'm the storm boy, they're the storm bitches. You certainly uh, kicked up a storm tonight, well done, great victory. You know that, you know that, thank you very much.